Quick Review presents the 5 Best Us Microphone for Podcasting. Let's get started with the list. Starting of our list at number 5. Audio Technica AT2020 USB Cardioid Condenser USB Microphone. Audio Technica AT2020 USB MIC is compatible with both Windows and Mac. This USB condenser mic is a popular pick for podcasting, especially when you take into consideration the sound quality for the price. Because it's USB powered, this podcasting mic is great for the casual or beginner podcaster, just plug into your laptop and you're ready to go. Reviewers note frequently that they love the easy to use design, the portability, and the price, as many good quality condenser mics clock in at around $300 plus. This is a great pick for podcasting, but it can also be used for voiceover, digital recording, music, or field uses, an interviewer's best friend. Includes tripod desk, stand, pivoting stand mount, USB cable, and storage pouch. At number 4. CAD Audio U37 USB Studio Condenser Recording Microphone. Here's one of our favorite budget-friendly mix for podcasts, if you didn't want to spend too much of your dough at hand. It's well under the $100 mark, so if you're looking to save some cash yet still provide a decent quality podcast, this is the mic to take a look at. The U37 brings us a large condenser microphone build with a relatively warm sound to it. The cardioid pickup pattern it has is great for isolating sounds around the source that is in front of it. You get a bass reduction switch for an additive, not necessarily a need, but our favorite part is the little desktop stand that comes with it. Right out of the box you can plug it into your PC or Mac via USB, and you're good to go. We've linked you to the search results, because there are some awesome bundles that give you other accessories you may need to save you some money, so be sure to check out those out. All in all, the CAD U37 USB microphone is perfect for those looking for a cheaper alternative to running a podcast. At number 3. Blue Yeti Pro. A standard in podcasting as far as USB microphones go, the Blue Yeti is versatile, readily available in most consumer electronic stores, and easy to use. Because of its ability to record in stereo, the Yeti is used a lot in the ASMR YouTube community as well as podcasting and streaming. With the introduction of the Yeti Pro, you now have the option of using it as a standard XLR analog output with a stereo breakout cable for using with any audio interface or recorder, as well as the capability to record at 24-bit 96 kHz sample rates for higher quality recordings. That kind of functionality is why the Yeti Pro costs considerably more than the standard Yeti, but it makes this mix still usable if you end up upgrading to more professional studio gear. At number 2. Blue Yeti Nano USB Microphone. The Yamaha RXS602 Slimline receiver offers built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities, as well as compatibility with Apple AirPlay, Spotify Connect, and even Amazon Alexa. It can also connect directly to your favorite music streaming services and has MusicCast compatibility, which allows you to create a wireless 5.1-channel surround sound setup in your home theater. All of this comes in a surprisingly small package. The RXS602 is only 4.5 inches tall and 13 inches deep. The Blue Yeti Nano is the smaller and more economical version of the Blue Yeti condenser microphone. This USB microphone for podcast setups is good because it's better equipped to handle vibrations. It features a volume dial on the front, both cardioid and omnidirectional pickup patterns, and the ability to support sample rates of up to 24-bit 48 kHz. It's a tiny mic that's capable of latency-free headphone monitoring. It packs quite a bit of punch too, in the sense that it's much closer in audio quality to an analog microphone with an XLR connector than most entry-level to mid-priced USB mics. The Yeti Nano can also be used with the Sherpa software if you want to tweak its sensitivity. Unlike its big brother, this mic doesn't have a dedicated gain knob. All in all, the Yeti Nano can do just about anything you could ask of a podcast microphone. It has an articulate mid-range and clear highs, and it also manages to record deep voices. It does all of this without sounding bassy in any way. At number 1. Blue Microphones Yeti. Here's one of the most popular USB microphones for podcasting you'll see in the market, and for good reason. 
we think it'll be dominating the niche for quite a few more years until something really comes along to compete with it in terms of overall quality, build as well as look of it. With the Yeti, Blue Microphones gives us a choice between four different capsule modes, stereo, cardioid, omnidirectional, or bidirectional, which for podcasting cardioid is recommended however, if let's say you have a guest, you can choose to omnidirectional to have it pick up from both the front and the back, etc. Next it gives us a headphone jack within the mic itself, a USB port, an easy tilt mechanism to adjust it in front of you, and ultimately gives you semi-pro audio quality. If you can afford it and want a USB mic for your desktop or laptop computer, we wouldn't even recommend reading on, but stopping here and grabbing the Blue Yeti USB microphone. It's one of the best microphones for podcasts, period. You may also want to check out the Yeti Pro if you want an upgrade that'll cost a few more bucks.